Ever since I was young, my father's told me stories before I go to bed. And one of those stories that he's really passionate about telling me is Romeo and Juliet. Now he never tells me the full story about Romeo and Juliet, he always just makes it one part. And that one part's known as Act 2. So I've made a video based off of Act 2, with Romeo being Macrath and Juliet being Alyssa Ryan, the nurse being Mary Rand, Peter being Matt Noonan, Mercutio being Seth Davenport, Benvolio being Sophie Guarino, and Friar Lawrence being Cole Tobin, and me being the best man at the wedding. So I hope you enjoy. This is honestly way too much to see a girl. Ugh. What's that over there? That's the dopest girl I've ever seen in my life. Come out, Juliet. Oh my. I hear her. Talk again, Juliet. You look beautiful as an angel tonight. Don't see my name as who I am. Look past my name and see who I really am. Wow, I really wish Romeo wasn't a Montague. Or he'd tell me he loves me so I could drop my name. Hmm, should I keep listening or say something? What even is a Montague? It's not Romeo. If I took a rose and gave it a different name, it would still smell as sweet. Bruh. If I gave Romeo a different name, he'd still be as wonderful as he is. Call me your love and I'll take a new name. I'll never be Romeo again. What the dill? Who's creeping on my private thoughts? I can't tell you my name because I hate it so much. Uh, is that Romeo? I'm not Romeo if you dislike the name. How did you get here? You know the Capulets will kill you if they catch you in these orchards. It was honestly a huge force to climb that wall, but when a man's in love, he'll do anything to quench that thirst. No legit, Romeo. You'll die if you get caught. One bad look from you is worse than 30 of your relatives with swords. A good look from you can make me invincible. I'd give anything to keep you from seeing you here. The darkness will hide me from them. All right, sounds cool. So who even told you how to get here? Juliet, you already know. Love showed me the way. It's what made me, made me look for you in the first place. It's dark, so you can't really see my face and me blushing from everything you've said to me. But Romeo, can I say something? Yes, of course. If you love me and say yes, then I know you're serious and I'll believe you. Juliet. I swear by the moon that I... No, 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 Romeo, don't swear by the moon. The moon is inconsistent, and I don't want you to be like that. <sighs> okay, then, what should I swear by? Romeo, just don't swear. If you're gonna swear, swear by yourself. That's the god that I worship. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, if my heart allows me. No, Romeo, just don't say anything. This is all going too fast. <sighs> Juliet, why you gotta do me like this? Romeo, what else could you possibly want? Well, I'd like if we made true promises of love. You heard me pledge my love to you and you were creeping on my conversation. If I could, I would take it back. Well, why would you take it back? So I could give it to you once more. <laughs> wow, what a great night. She loves me. <laughs> if you really love me, I'll send a messenger tomorrow and you can marry me. Good night. Good night. I'm unreal at making medicine and other types of things like that. Like, honestly, I never realized how nice I am at it. Oh, what's up, Father? Who comes to see me so early in the morning? The only reason this could be is if you didn't get any sleep or if you're upset. <clears throat> nah, I didn't get any sleep last night. I was up all night. Well, may God forgive you for you have sinned. Were you chilling with Rosaline? Nah, I forgot about her. Oh, that's good, but where were you? I was with the Capulet's daughter, Juliet. Why'd you give up on Rosaline so fast? I'll tell you later. I love Juliet. I want to marry this girl. Alright, well, I'll help you with the marriage. Just get out of here. Oh, I hate having all of us so much. Me too. Um, where, where's Romeo? Did he come home last night? Nah, he went to his dad's house. I asked one of his servants. Oh my god, I can't believe that kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ty Bell wrote like a letter or something to him and left it at his dad's. Yeah, it's Ty Bell. He probably wants to fight. Romeo will probably answer him back. Yeah, well obviously. He, he wants to write a letter. Nah, dude. I mean, like, he'll tell Ty Bell if he wants to or not. Whatever, dude. He's probably already dead, honestly. Cupid's arrow went straight through his heart. Yeah, I don't think that happened. What does He's... that even mean? 
He's tougher than his Prince of Cats dude. Ah, uh, he knows how to do what? I hate these flying guys. What's up, guys? Where were you last night? Well, if you don't mind, I was doing some personal business. By personal business, do you mean flex your butt? Do you mean, like, bow to say hello? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, well, that was kind of weird to say, but okay. Well, whatever, I just couldn't think of a word. Right? Okay, guys, let's just relax. Oh, this should be good. Yeah, it's the nurse and uh, some guy. Peter! What do you want, nurse? Go get me some crackers and a strawberry frap. Yeah, Peter, go do all that stuff. It's prettier than looking at her face. Yeah, that's a real nice thing to say, Marquito. Anyways, good morning, gentlemen. Good afternoon. It's the afternoon? Well, it's not earlier. What kind of man are you? I'm just a man. Yeah, sweet, thanks. So anyone knows where Romeo is? I can tell you, but he'll be older by the time that you find him. You speak well. Thanks. If you're the Romeo I'm looking for, I'd like to have a word with you. Okay. Romeo, let's just go to lunch instead of talk here. Okay, so who is that punk who loved talking and saying such terrible jokes about me? It's nobody. He just loves to talk. He was dilfing on my life. And Peter, you just sit there awkwardly and don't say anything. I didn't see him dilfing you. If I had, I would have jumped out and said something. Yeah, no. Even if Peter did see them dilfing on me, you wouldn't have said anything. You'd just sit there and say nothing at all. Romeo, can we have a word? If you don't love this girl, it'd be evil to trick her into something like that. Nurse, I love her, I swear. Alright, I'll tell her that. Tell her to get a good plan to come to confession at the Abbey this afternoon. At Friar's Cell, she can look like she's going to make a confession, but she's really going to get married. Okay, thank you, this afternoon. Yeah, by the way, one of my boys will give you a rope ladder and a used to get behind the orchard walls at night so I can see Juliet joyfully in, in secret. Goodbye. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna go. Yo, Romeo, hopefully nothing bad happens in this marriage because, uh, you know, something that'll make you regret getting married. Amen. But whatever happens can't ruin the joy that I feel for. True. Good evening, guys. You too. Juliet, if you're as happy as I am, and you're better with words, tell me about the happiness you imagine in our marriage. I love you so much, Romeo, and I can't imagine life without you. Come with me, guys. We'll go get this done quickly, because if you're fine with it, I don't want to leave you two alone while you're married. So. 